everyone. So we've been talking about ways that we can help manage some extreme emotions that we might have through breathing and through counting strategies. So once we use those strategies and we're calm, we can successfully solve a whole lot of problems. So today I wanna to talk about how we solve problems. There are some steps that we can take to solve our problems. And I have a little picture of you of a boy who's working to solve his problems too. So the first step in solving problems is to figure out what is my problem? A problem is when something doesn't turn out the way we want it to. We have lots of problems every day, but some problems are big and some ones are really small. So an example of a small problem might be if I sit down to lunch and I can't open my snack. It might be tricky to open these things. I want to eat this bar, but now I can't because it won't open. So what's my problem? The problem is I can't open my snack bar. Once we figure out what the problem is, we need to find a solution. So a solution is how we fix the problem. We need to think, think, think of some solutions, some ways that we can fix the problem. So let's think about this bar. How can I fix this problem? I need to think of some ways that I can get this bar open and eat it. So some options might be, I could just keep trying. Keep trying, pulling out lots of different ways. Another idea is I could get some scissors. I could just cut it right open. Another solution might be that I'm just gonna put this bar away and eat another snack. And another solution is that I can go ask somebody for help. Sometimes people can help us do lots of things that are tough for us and easy for them. So after I think of a couple different solutions, I need to think about what might happen if I do those solutions. So I'm gonna ask what would happen if I solved the problem this way? Would it be safe? And how would everybody feel? So let's think about the solutions I came up with. One solution was to just keep trying, right? If I keep trying, what do you think is gonna happen? Mm, I might get really frustrated. I might throw this against the wall because I'm feeling really mad that I can't get it open. So that's not gonna make me feel good. That's not a good solution. Another solution we came up with was getting scissors. Now let's think, is that safe? Sometimes it's not safe to use scissors all by yourself without an adult, so I'm not gonna use that solution either. Another thing we came up with was just eating another snack. Hmm, is that an option? Looking around, I don't have another snack to eat, so that's not a good solution for me either. The last solution was to ask someone for help. So I think that's gonna be our best solution to use today. The last step is to gonna be give it a try. So we're gonna try out our solution. If it doesn't work, then we're gonna to have to come up with some more solutions and ways to fix our problem. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna ask someone, will you open this for me, please? Problem solved. So not being able, able to open a snack is an example of a small, small problem. And it's one that I can easily solve all by myself. Sometimes we have bigger problems, especially if we're playing with our friends or our siblings, and these bigger problems might be trickier to solve. So whenever we have a problem, we're gonna to wanna to stay calm using some of the breathing and counting strategies that we talked about in some other videos. So taking a deep breath, maybe counting to four on our fingers. Once we are calm, that's when we can work together with our friends and our siblings to figure out what the problem is, think of possible solutions, think about what's gonna happen, and we can try them out. So I have some possible solutions that you and your friends and your siblings can use to solve problems that might come up while you're playing. So the first solution is, if we all wanna play with one thing, we can just play together. These kids are playing with a ball together, and that is a great solution when we're at school or when we're at home, and we don't wanna share, we don't want we all want to play with the same toy, we can play together with the toy. Another thing is we can say, please. 
So if you really want something that someone else has, you can ask them really nicely and say, please, can we share? Or please, can I have a turn? It brings me to this one. These boys right here are sharing the dinosaurs. A good solution when we're playing with others to any problems that might come up is to share. These kids right here are waiting and taking turns. So she's waiting, she's waiting, and it's his turn to go down. Next, it's gonna be her turn. So one solution is to wait and take turns. If we can't play together, then we might just wait and take turns. One way to help us with that is to get a timer. So you can see this little girl is waiting and she's waiting by a timer. When the timer goes off, she will know that it's her turn to play. This is another good solution to use that if we can't play together, we'll get a timer and then we will take turns. Another solution, solution is to trade. So if this little boy wants the robot and this little boy wants the boat, then they can trade toys. They don't have to play together if they're having a problem, they can trade. Another one is to get a teacher, a parent, or any other adult. So sometimes our problems are too big for us to handle all by ourselves. And in that case, we're gonna to try to find an adult and tell them what the problem is. You can even tell them some of the solutions that you tried and see if they can help you come to a better solution. You could also ask nicely, right? We wanna use really nice words when we're having problems with our friends, even if we feel frustrated. This little boy is bothering this little girl. And so she's decided to ignore the problem. Sometimes, especially after we've tried some solutions, we just need to ignore a problem that's really bothering us. You can also say to a friend, please stop. So again, using please is a really nice way of talking to your friends and communicates that you really don't like what a friend is doing. So you can say, please stop. So those are just some solutions that you can use when you have problems when you're playing. We might have problems at school while we're playing with friends and we might have problems at home with brothers and sisters while we're playing too. So the next time that you have a problem, Try, try to think back to these solutions. Think of what your problem is, what are some possible solutions, what would happen, and then give them a try. Good luck and have fun playing.